Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi my name is Chanel. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I do my everyday makeup routine. So if you wanna know how I did this makeup look, then please keep on watching. So first, I always use this Nivea cleansing water to double cleanse and remove excess oil and dirt from my face before I put on my makeup. To prime my face, I will put on this NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. This is super lightweight, has a silky finish which instantly blurs out my pores. Next, I'd like to moisturize my lips using this Carmix Lip Balm since I usually have dry and chapped lips. For my base, I'm using this Super Face Cushion in the shade 02 Natural. This instantly brightens up my face. It has medium coverage and is lightweight so it is perfect for daily use. I use this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade 120 or light to cover up my dark circles and to minimize the appearance of puffiness around my eyes. I'm just gonna use this stamp sponge and dab it under my eyes to blend out my concealer. Now I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Light Ivory and put it on the sides of my nose and lips, on my forehead, and on my chin to cover up my dark spots. Again, I'm just taking this makeup sponge to blend everything out. To bake and set my concealer, I'm gonna use this Nichido Final Powder in the shade Creamy Glow. This helps prevent it from creasing throughout the day. For my brows, I'm gonna use this Caroline Best Brow Liner in the shade Taupe. I just usually outline the shape of my brows before I start filling them in. This product has a creamy formula and already has a spoolie on the other end which makes it easier for me to achieve that natural looking brows. Using my hula bronzer, I like to contour my cheeks, my jawline, and put a little on the sides of my forehead. I'll be using this blending brush to apply the same bronzer on my eyelids but focusing the color on the outer corners. This gives my eye area a little bit of warmth which helps correct redness and tired looking eyes. Now using this flat brush and still my hula bronzer, I'm gonna contour my nose. Again, I'm taking this brush to blend it all out and to avoid harsh edges. I'm gonna take my powder brush and buff out the baking that I did. For a flush of color, I'm gonna use this MAC Powder Blush in the shade Melba. I usually tap off excess powder before applying it on my cheeks to achieve a natural looking application. I'd like to mix my MAC Powder Blush with this Milani Baked Blush in the shade 05 Luminoso. This has shimmer in it which helps me achieve that peachy and glowy effect. Using this fan brush and my J-Cat Triple Crown Baked Shadow in the shade 102 Dulce de Leche, 
I'm gonna highlight the high points of my face including the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose. Using this Caroline strobe stick, I'd like to put on some highlight under the arc of my brows. Using my eyelash curler, I like to hold it at the base of my lashes and squeeze it for a few seconds to help set the curl. Then I'm gonna take this Maybelline Total Temptation waterproof mascara to make my lashes longer. To widen and brighten my eyes, I also apply mascara on my lower lashes. Again, I'm just curling this side of my lashes, then put on the same mascara. Again, I'm just applying some on my lower lashes. I'll be using this Benefit Brow Gel to keep my brows in place and to create a fuller and more natural looking brows. For my lips, I'm gonna use this Sony's Face Fluff Matte in the shade On Repeat. Whenever I want a more matte finish, I just press my lips onto a tissue paper. To lessen the pop of color and make my look more natural, I'm just gonna blend out any harsh edges using my makeup sponge. Finally, I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus to set my makeup. So here is the final look and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below your video suggestions. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!